sending to us as far as the fly wire and the talents at the bottom really um, you know, been beneficial. What we've been preaching here for the longest time, especially for God, my size and speed, I need something that's, uh, that'll give me support, you know, like a, like a, like a bigger shoe, I can move like a, uh, you know, lightweight, a, uh, a low, you know, what a DB would wear, and I think with this, we're you know, really starting to move in the right direction, and, you know, looking forward to trying to go on and, uh, you know, wear them some games, see what I can do for me. You're really known as being a good pass rusher, uh, I think, this will help you kind of improve uh, your reputation for being dropping back in the coverage, run stuffing, all that stuff. So. I like to think I can do, uh, you know, not just known as a one trick pony, but um, yeah, absolutely. You know, uh, the great thing about these is it doesn't just help in one regard. It's not just going to make you faster, or it's not just built for, for more traction. It's, it's, you know, it's built for every part of, of your game, especially for me. You know, yeah, I'm rushing the pass, or I might be uh, coming underneath and, and playing around with the guards in the center. Dropping into coverage, you know, man to man on backs and tight ends, so really it, it covers everything you know, as far as traction and speed and, and making you know, the proper cuts that I need to at my uh, you know, height and weight going against these little guys coming out of the backfield. Yeah, yeah, hold on, go pack, go. I gotta take a picture. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Pack, <laughs> pack, I'm sorry about that. Thanks for coming. Yeah, That'll be on Twitter in 30 just, seconds. Yeah, really, uh, <laughs> after game up this year, what have you been doing training wise? Different. Um, you know, I think really once you finish your rookie year, you kind of see what you need to improve on, where you need to get better at. I know for me, um, you know, I, I think I finished the season pretty well, and uh, you know, I knew coming in this year I was going to get you know, a lot more attention from opposing offenses. So I knew, you know, I was done. not only have to get bigger, faster, stronger, but more so, you know, my, my, my mentality. And, uh, that's kind of where I've been this year, is trying to improve my game. You know, Relentless and ruthless and getting after it. It's kind of the same approach I'll take in my uh, you know, third. Do you uh, do you keep tabs? Do you look at the season leagues and the, the sack leaders? I mean, is that something oh, yeah. that goes through your mind? Yeah, absolutely. Obviously, you know, the most important stat is winning games and whatnot. But for your personal goals, you'd like to, uh, you know, uh, try to accumulate as many stats as possible. So it's always something you're, you're looking for, um, you're looking at, and it you know, keeps you motivated and whatnot. So, uh, you know, I got some more sacks if I want to, uh, you know, get that lead back. <laughs> Talk about what Dom, K the work Dom Cambridge has done because I mean, you guys have been hit with injuries, yet still one of the best defenses in the league. Yeah, he's done a tremendous job. You know, I was fortunate enough. You know, my first year was his first year, but he's had so much experience that you know I think we finished uh, you know, one or two in defense last year. Right now, we're leading in the NFL thank you, with uh, you know points per game. So, uh, especially with all the injuries in which we had. Um, it's obviously you know, detrimental that like, you know, we can't respond, but we've been able to do that. It puts us in the right position. You know, it's not just uh, a defense for one or two guys. It's, it's meant for everybody. You have, uh, you know, as far as stopping the run, and, you know, when he gets to turn the uh, turn the dogs loose and let everybody come, it's not just your outside linebackers. It's your, it's your, uh, your corners, your safeties, your, your middle linebackers, the outside, your D linemen. So that's what makes it so special. You know. You Talk about Nike user. You always enjoyed. Oh yeah, yeah. I've always been a Nike guy. You know, I've had uh, you know, opportunities with other brands out there, but you know, Nike's just you know everybody knows Nike. It's something that I'm so comfortable with, and you know, not only the the shoes, but the gear and everything. And you know, they've treated me so well that you know Nike, Nike's just it. That's that's it for me. I think what? your dad would have benefited from some of this stuff. Yeah. Just playing. Oh, I think so. I think uh, you know he might have played 20 years instead of 19, <laughs> but. Uh, <laughs> no, yeah, he did all right for himself, but absolutely, the technology we have nowadays, you know, it's so funny to, to, to show him some of the stuff I'm, you know, the new technology as opposed to when he was playing. I think they just throw, you know, six, seven studs on Bob, your, your, your Chuck Taylors and run out there with no ankle support or anything, so it, it's pretty comical, but at the same time, it's helping us out. What have you been Ohio watching Ed for years? Uh, how much has he influenced how you play now? Because he had a, he was known for having a motor, right. and now you had that reputation. Yeah, well, you know, obviously he's, uh, he's you know, my biggest inspiration is, is you know, the fact that I want to do this all because of him and, you know, my uncle, my grandfather, just everything the NFL has given back to us. And, you know, we're obviously truly blessed and, um, you know, fortunate to be in the position we are, but, you know, he was obviously able to put something to, special together for those 19 years he played, uh, like you said, in Cleveland. I um, mean, you know, I kind of want to be known as the same person. I just don't want to be a uh, you know, guy who comes and goes. I want to be someone who, you know, you're going to remember who I was after I'm done playing. What advice would you give to kids that really aren't highly recruited? Because you weren't highly recruited at USC, had to be a walk-on, and now the success you have, what advice would you give to kids? You know, it's just, uh, I know it sounds cliche, but it's just, you know, chase your dreams, really. You know, for me, obviously I didn't know what I was getting myself into, you know, walking on at SC, you know, the number one program at the time. But, you know, it took uh, four and a half years to get on the field, but, you know, I, I finally managed to, and you know, I kind of never looked back. So you just got to keep working, and maybe even work a little harder than the other guys, knowing that you're putting the extra work. And when you're giving your time, your opportunity, your chance, you don't look back. And you, you know, you 
run with it, and that's kind of what I've been doing. Where'd you get the patience, and how'd you find the focus to just stick with it? Yeah, yeah well, I mean, I didn't have a whole lot of opportunities, so I had to stay patient, but, um, you know, it's one of those things where, you know, you want to you want to quit, you want to back off and say, maybe this isn't for me, but, um, you know, one thing about me is I finish things, and I start, and football's one of them, and, you know, I'm so fortunate that it worked out for me, and, and like I said, I just continue to work hard, and, you know, what I believe harder than the rest, and that's why I'm at, you know, more about right now. Are you guys going to teach Aaron, Rod- Aaron Rodgers how to slide and or well, what's the team's outlook, you know, the chance he might miss a game, the playoff hunt, obviously? You know, I, I, you know, he's such a you know, part of our, uh, yeah, our team, really, yeah. especially the offense, yeah. that uh, yeah, maybe he should learn how to slide. But, you know, it's, <laughs> it's unfortunate with concussions nowadays, and we're hoping to get him back. I know he made a quick recovery um, after his initial, the first concussion, so I'm not sure how the, the time frame changes, but we're hoping to have him back. Um, if not, we'll, you know, that's kind of been the story of us this year. We'll, we'll play with what we have, and hopefully, it's it's enough. How do you guys? How do you feel about the you know, the, the, like the rules of the NFL? Well, the fines that have come on and the illegal, the defenseless receiver hits. I mean, do you think it's a good thing to clean it up? Well, or? I mean, obviously, you have to uh, you know you have to implement some type of rules and laws and fines to uh, kind of make the game cleaner, uh, cleaner sport in regards to the to the helmet to helmet hits, but. Um, it's tough, you know, to really make a call, uh, you know, with $25,000, $50,000 fines. Um, you know, you just hope you're not in that position. And, uh, you know, it's unfortunate, especially for defenders who are, you know, a split second could, you know, accidentally, uh, you know, be with their head. Next thing you know, you're getting, you're getting a you know, big fine. So I'm just, you know, like I said, I'm, I hope I'm not in that position. And, um, Has it changed your game at all? It hasn't changed my game at all. I, you know, I approach it the same. Um, you know, like I say, you, just, you hope for the best because it's really hard to, uh, Trying to protect yourself at the same time, trying to you know, take an, an opponent down. You, you, you know, you're not thinking about the form tackling. And, you, know, you have to protect yourself with uh, you know, you're not only your helmet but your shoulder. So, you know, if you're blatantly going in with your helmet, I should understand it's a fine. But there's a lot of gray area. Describe the relationship between you and your brother, um, especially looking at Oregon going to the national. We got a, we got a great relationship. I, mean, I always talk to him. Uh, before every game, try and give him a little uh, motivation and whatnot, let him know what he has to look forward to, and um, you know, try and help him out with his game. And uh, I'm real proud of him. Obviously, he's got a big chance here with the national championship, so hopefully I can get some uh, some tips on getting Cam Newton down, you know, <laughs> relay him on over to him, and hopefully they'll be successful. But I'm uh, real proud of him, and hopefully he has a great opportunity. Who are you going for when you play at USC? When, when Oregon's playing USC? Yeah. Well, you know, I'm a, I'm a I'm a SC fan. What 11 games out of the year, but on that, that 12th week, uh, you know, I'm, I'm Oregon. But I think now that he's going to be finishing up, going to go back to you know, year-round <laughs> Trojans. So uh, those lights thicker than water. Those four years of you sitting on the bench at USC and working your way up. Is there anybody influential from like a training standpoint, like somebody that helped you in the weight room or working on speed or whatever that really got you to the point? Yeah, not so much. Someone pushing me. I think it was within myself. But the great thing about it is I was surrounded by such great. Uh, Athletes, uh, Brian Cushing, Ray Maluga, you know, Taylor May, Sanchez, you know, guys up and down the board who were, you know, regarded as uh, you know, top prospects coming out into the draft. So I knew if I, wanted, if I could hang with them or even be better than them, then I had a, a very good opportunity. So it kind of you know, pushed me to be where, uh, to work just as hard to get where, they're, where they were at. Did you get a look at the Ducks in the uniform? I did, as a matter of fact. Uh, you know, I like them. Uh, I like how they're always bringing out something new each and every week. I think it's a good, uh, well, it was a good recruiting tool. Um, you know, but now they're a great team. They don't. They don't need all the, you know, the jerseys and everything that, you know, to get recruits there anymore. But uh, you know, I like it. I'm, I'm always asked. I try and get a, you know, heads up from my brother what they're having before the media knows. And you know, I, I think it'll, I think they'll look good come a championship. Time. Seems like everybody's picking Auburn to beat Oregon. What do you think of the Ducks' chances? You know, they have a good chance. Uh, obviously, I think it, you know it depends on that high-powered offense. Um, you know, if they can get going, I think it, it's hard to stop. But at the same time, uh, you know, getting you know Cam Newton. Obviously, a Heisman winner. He's a tremendous athlete. If they can get him down and kind of rally him, you know, similar to I believe it was what Alabama in the first half. I think they've got a very good chance. But that's if, and uh, you know, he's a very he's a fantastic athlete. So yeah. it's going to be challenging, but obviously I'm going for it. Who's the hardest quarterback right? Other than Michael Vick, right Roethlisberger is tough. He uh, he's a big guy. I mean, you know, there's some guys who you know, prefer to go down, but he's one who's going to fight you. For a sack, so you really have to, uh, yeah, you have to, you have, you have to bring your A game when you're trying to bring him down. Some wrestling moves, something like that. But uh, yeah, he's a big guy. Yeah. Describe the family tree is one of the most famous in football. But is there a connection between the hair? I notice that at each level of the family there's this awesome hair. Is it is it like a Samson thing, or is it just like a you know we're doing this together, or is it just kind of happening? Yeah, I don't, I, you know, I don't know where that came from. I know my dad obviously I think rock long hair for you know 
when it went in style, out of style, back in style. He wrote it out, and you know, I just I kind of jumped on the bandwagon. I thought it was kind of unique, and um, you know, we just you, know, you kind of have to fit a certain mold to have long hair, and hopefully, I can continue to do that. But um, you know, I got my little brother. You know, he's got the long hair now, so we'll, we'll keep it going for a while. I think it's a nice little, little trademark of the Matthews right now. I see you probably don't know what.